So I put together this uh, team of, of um, Highland wrestlers and we're going out to Mongolia to take on some of the best wrestlers in the world at their own sport. Uh, my name's Jamie McDonald. I work as an airline pilot. Um, the reason I'm going on this trip is because I'm having a midlife crisis and I need to assert my manhood and... Um, <laughs> it was about six weeks ago we were offered um, to to fight in this tournament and I thought that's crazy but it's also a really really good idea I think these guys have a, a lot of work to do but as far as as far as taking these Mongolian wrestlers if you have watched on YouTube I don't think they stand up open hell Hello, my name is Angara Gantumur, I'm a Mongolian in Glasgow and I'm quite delighted to be a coach for Scottish Highland, uh, Highland uh, wrestlers. Uh, I have been in training, I have been going to the gym several times a week, we have been wrestle training together, um, I also hired a, a personal trainer called Chris. The, the team's a very mixed bag, we've got uh, Robert McDonald, he's utterly talentless um, in wrestling, Fine, but uh, he's not really he's not done any uh, combat sports at all. But he he trains hard and he just he doesn't seem to much fear. I'm I'm apprehensive and I don't expect they'll go easy on us at all. I really don't. Uh, Jamie uh, McDonald's is his brother. Uh, he's second dan judo. Um, he's a lot more competitive, skilled. Um, if anything, he's more at the moment showing more signs of fear than Robert because he knows what he's going into. I haven't trained as much as I hoped I would. <laughs> um, Cheers. <laughs> we were supposed to. <laughs> I've done a, you know, a bit of wrestling, a bit of Mongolian wrestling over the years, but by no means am I skilled or accomplished. I'm looking forward to wrestling. Um, despite all the, the concerns about getting injured and humiliated by these, these wrestlers who you know, who wrestle as part of their culture, you know. Um, I'm still confident that we can uh, kick the shit out of <laughs> I feel uh, slightly concerned mm -hmm. due to the recent injury that he has had and um, the broken rib. Robert, I think the only fighting he's done is uh, uh, outside a kebab shop in Glasgow. So we are lost. <laughs> <laughs> So. <laughs> I understand that the um, wrestling in Mongolia is a kind of national sport and it's a source of great pride. So although it's an honour for him to be invited to do that, I'd rather he just stayed at home and stayed safe. I don't want him to get a spray tan like he was suggesting. <laughs> he might do. What's your idea? What's your idea? <laughs> I was joking though, you were taking this seriously. <laughs> Yeah, but when you, how, how, when you go out there, how many times are you going to wrestle? Once. Yeah, once. It's a full day of... Uh, like you do knockout rounds kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, once, yeah. <laughs> once.
left the city. Now we're just on the outskirts of the Golden Battle. Getting ready to head down to the Gobi Desert to catch up with some old friends and do a bit of work with the yeah, charity Yama Trust. We've got a lot of medical stuff to hand out. Books to give in as well. on a mountain it means we respect that mountain and also these special places and um, uh, when we see Obo uh, we just walk around three times with sun direction uh, why why do we go around it three times uh, with sun direction uh, we, um, we explain that uh, it starts with happiness and in the middle it's trouble and also ends with happiness. Happiness, trouble, trouble and happens. happiness. Okay, so also it's related with Buddhism. Right. Okay. Yeah. How are you feeling? Um, I feel great. Just had two sips of whiskey, two sips of vodka. We had to have breakfast. <laughs> so I feel, feel great. Do you giving you the correct welcome? Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's, um, it's the best welcome you could possibly want come to a country. Um, not been disappointed so far. So it's really windy. We've stopped at the Ovo, um, but no one's had breakfast yet, so we're boiling up um, some water. We use the mats out of the car yeah. just to give us a shelter. <laughs> All right. But it's very effective. in Mandelgov, which is the capital of the Middle Gobi in Mongolia, it's called Dungov. So we'll stay one night here. We're off to meet the governor, the head of the medical services and the head of social services. So we've been, the Scottish charity Yama Trust has been putting aid and all different things to here for the last six years, just over six years. So here we have uh, we have two very good doctors, Andrew Murray and Duncan Goodall, who consult on what we should be putting into the, the area. So we have pulse oximeters. Um, these are ECG, uh, handheld ECG machines. Administrative buildings for the town, or for the whole district, kind of like the city chambers. So we're going to meet the governor. He's quite a nice guy. I've met him a few times. 
Nice to meet you. Black Lock, and you. Sambru. Thank you. Uh, so he is uh, he is a governor of this uh, Mandal Gobi. He is very proud of you done in South Gobi and also here in Middle Gobi. When you teach someone to have to catch a fish is more important than you give food, give the food food to them. He heard about Scottish culture and uh, traditions and he also he has seen a uh, brave heart and, and he's, uh, he said that uh, Mongolia and Scottish people's spirit is very similar, very similar. So we're on the outskirts of Mandelgove and this is one of the 20 girls that we built uh, with the Amatrust around the South Gobi Desert, Middle Gobi Desert. Um, so the family here are just, we're going to pop in just for five minutes. I'm drinking fermented mare's milk. milk. It's fermented mare's milk, it's called Arag. I read about it in a book about uh, Genghis Khan. Beautiful. Uh, he used to drink quite a lot of it. Very beautiful girl. Yeah. Very nice. Very goy, nice girl. Goy, uh, goy. Yeah, yeah. Proud people. What do you think? It actually tastes like my home brew. <laughs> Beautiful girl. I don't know if I can drink any more of it though. Okay, so I'm uh, just about to go through the right of passage that Jamie has just gone through. Um, so, bottoms up. Bottoms up. Lovely. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to manage. Um, Oh, Jim. Oh, do you want to have some? No, I'm fine. Back lap, Aya. Back lap. Back lap. Oh, wait a minute. Sembaro! Yes, I know. Robert. Many nads. Uh, Robert, should land to go in. Should land to go in. <laughs> Good to meet you. Back lap. Back lap. Back is that the bone going through it? Okay. If you can die, I'll try first and then you're okay. Okay, yeah. It's good, isn't it? Thoughts, Jerry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Some of meat can eat. Some of meat, but then he want it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
is a dried curd and uh, we make curd with uh, yogurt first. Uh, we need to boil the yogurt first and then it will be a curd. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then we make it uh, different shapes like that and then dry it on the gear. How does it taste? It's nice? Um, usually it's a little bit bitter, but sometimes they add sugar, so sometimes it's sweety, sometimes, but usually, mostly it's bitter. It's an acquired taste. Um, to me, the first time I tasted it, it tastes like um, solid vomit. But I'm, I'm sure, if, you know, if I tasted it enough, I would get used to the, the weird, kind of sour, tangy, bailey, spewy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we use horses for milking and also riding and eat horse flesh. We use them for everything. Yeah, do you like the taste of horse meat? Yeah, horse meat is uh, very tasty, especially the belly, you know, horse belly. Mm -hmm. And also, we even eat lamb, liver, and everything we eat. And when they, uh, when they are, when horses are baby, we castrate them and eat the, uh, you know, balls. It's very tasty as well. Water is very good for eyes and nose and head. Nice, yeah. Rob. Cheers, Rob. Nice. Nice and cooling. It feels really nice, very refreshing. So how's you feeling? Oh, it was great. That's probably where we're aiming for, and then it was like we passed that about two hours later, and then it was just another two hours. And <laughs> we, we lost confidence in tomorrow. Well, we did. I mean, it's it a fact. Gordon said, "Right, we should just we just fucking camp here. We, we need to camp here." But my bag's in the other car, and, and my, my I, I don't have a sleeping bag, and you know, and and, and, and that just that little nugget of. You know, uh, negativity just went. Yeah, with exactly. that. And I was like, "Fucking hell!" I spent the last few days yeah. explaining this. That this that's poisoning. Yeah, 
But, but we've been on, we've been been on the road about five hours longer than we thought we would be. Yeah. So you can understand Because, because you were listening to other people. Well, you. Um, <laughs> about, about... It's always yeah. about, it's about it's exact. Yeah, I know. Because if you're used to... I know, I'm beginning to understand that now. If you're used now to travelling in mud, yeah. then you, your perspective will alter. But the moment, but there was and a moment... And if you're fixed in from the UK style of... Of course, yeah, yeah. I, I, absolutes of bus times and train times, yeah. you're, you're always going to be frustrating. It's a total shift of... And, of, um, of and then the experts yeah. come out and tell you, yeah. we have to do this and that, but they're guessing. Yeah. So you just go with the guys who know what they're doing. See there. So I'm aware people have these fears, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's easy to forget. That's why we have at least five bottles of vodka in the car at any time. Mm. Right. Who's the, Dave, who's, who would you say is the biggest in the group? <laughs> See, this trip's quite unusual, there's no <laughs> Normally you get one It must be camp camp it's called statistically one in every um, six months. Camp, camp, camp yeah, and okay. so just uh, CC, you just CC, CC. them. It's like that group dynamic where if you if you're in a group of people within a couple of hours, if you don't know who the wank is, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> right. <it's been> meeting. <laughs> this is a joke. We're making fun of you know Bear Grylls. <laughs> Everything. The adventure of in the UK is... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, the armour. Oh, is it the same exactly. shield that Chingus would have had? Yeah. So this is the armour that would go down the arm? Yep. Not, not the shield like a... Shield. Yeah, 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 exactly. The armour. Yeah, the armour. Yeah, yeah. yeah armour. <laughs> And then, uh, and then put our hands into the sheep, and then just pull the heart. So we've driven about 60 k's uh, over uh, tracks and, and mountains to get into this this area. It's the edge of the protected area, which you see around us. And uh, we're just getting the boats ready, and we're going to take the guys back this way for 30 k's downriver, and we're hopefully catching some taming. At this time of day in the sun, the fish come into these pools. So these are the best areas to catch. We've got 30 k's of river to cover. And so we're going to stop off at various pools as the day goes on and fi- also fish from the boats. Line 
line at the end. The gut. <laughs> The Time all the, this river and everything is frozen. Anything you want, just to pass the river. That's it. You can't go to turn around or something. You can't use like a big boat over that will pass, right? The two cars. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What sort of things? Like uh, so many, we have close to the Russian. Lots of people bring from gun from Russia. The AK-47 or whatever big gun. More than. AK-47. <laughs> So, Tolga, you've um, you've been looking after a group of Scottish people. Yep. Um, what do you think of us? Um, and be honest. Yeah. About uh, Scottish people? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're friendly, nice. Mm -hmm. They eat too much. <laughs> <laughs> drink too much. They drink too much. <laughs> Same as the Mongolian people. I like the Scottish people. Mm -hmm. They're just a friendly, easy to connect, you know? Yeah. yeah. Easy to talk and everything.
it's about just before three in the morning. We're on the way to a Mongolian um, wrestling training camp with the Scottish team here. And uh, we're a bit lost because uh, we don't really know where the camp is because it's quite dark. And the road ran out an hour ago. And the road ran out an hour ago. <laughs> so we're now uh, asking a local trucker Knackered, but uh, raring to go. 20 hours on the road, roughly. Yeah, thumb's a bit numb, but uh, I think I'll have a couple of vodkas and then hit the hay. Yeah. Same and then way. wrestling tomorrow. It's meant to be tough. You don't, if you come for an easy ride, you could have just gone to Spain. Yeah. 
Sore neck, um, and I enjoyed. It. I really enjoyed it, uh, but uh, we were kind of overpowered and outclassed. Generally, I just wish I'd paced myself and, and not attacked uh, when I did, because they they go for leg grabs very quickly. So you have to be really careful about where you put your legs. And now I'm actually a judo player, so you're not allowed to do leg grabs in judo now. So it's kind of a, a little bit alien to me. Um, so I should have just remembered that, paced myself a bit more and just took my time and uh, looked for an opening. When I saw the, the guys walking in at breakfast, uh, five, five, six giants walked in. Um, but as soon as, we, as soon as we were out there, it was, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the guys knew, it was quite obvious that they knew we weren't experienced and, uh, or a, a close match to them at all, so I think they went easy on us. Um, and. Uh, but I did really, really enjoy myself. I'm yeah. really glad I did that. It's a great experience. These guys are strong, so strong, and uh, imposing. You know, they look imposing. They're skilled. Fantastic fun. I think we did okay. We all lost, uh, apart from a few backhold wrestles. Now we're going to celebrate with Arag, fermented, fermented mare's milk. And uh, so this gentleman is the the Imag champion of the Western part of Mongolia. And he likes his kilt. Yeah, <laughs> Ah, Okay, good. <laughs> Stones. So these stones are really hot. So before you eat, covered in oil, you just throw them about. It's meant to be good for circulation. Travelled down from Bilkin, now we're passing through Mongolia's third biggest city of Erdogan. 